A strange sight in the sky last night over Oahu caught the attention of many people. Nobody would believe me if I didn't do this live, but I want you to look at this cloud in the sky. That's what I'm looking at right now. Look at this cloud in the sky. Is that not an angel or what? Gazing into the sky seems to offer a bit of comfort, ideas, mystery, awe, wonder, or even peace. But sometimes when we gaze into this familiar ceiling above all our heads, instead of awe, we are left with confusion. The familiar disappears, exposing some of the sky's greatest ceilings. From ancient tales as far back as time goes to modern enigmas that leave even the most brilliant minds puzzled, what are these strange sights? Do they have any implications? Join us as we explore these strange things that were seen in the sky and scientists can't explain. Number 9. The Cloud Phenomenon of Manta Ray The Manta Ray Cloud Phenomenon in the busy city of Nagpur, India, left people surprised by a strange sight in the sky. Instead of falling onto the ground like usual space rocks, these bright objects were seen flying parallel to the ground. Instead of a crash, they left on their trail glowing tracks, leaving everyone to wonder if they were not regular spacecrafts, but unidentified flying objects. The odd behavior of these flying things left everyone puzzled. The Indian cloud is one full-on mystery, as an Indian driver noticed how a bunch of clouds gathered in uh, that was seemingly unnatural. The clouds formed a perfect square, and this suggested to the general public that someone might be messing with the clouds on purpose probably someone using things like chemtrails or cloud seedings to make clouds. Whilst these actions could sometimes do what people want, they could also cause unintended problems, affecting both the weather and the environment. In Japan, a family enjoying the sunset found a cloud that looked like that of a manta ray and felt denser than regular clouds. This cloud, unlike others, seemed almost touchable, making people curious about where it came from. Number 8 angels or deception. The year is 2019 and the month is the warm month of August. The skies of Nebraska bore witness to something truly surprising and left a lot of people confused. A regular person, just like yourself and myself, looked up into the sky and saw a figure that looked like a man going up a staircase made of clouds. This scene was magical and it caught the attention of many who gathered to witness this incredible sin. Throughout the crowd, whispers of thoughts and guesses spread, with everyone unsure of what it was they were seeing. Some wondered if they were watching someone ascend into heaven through the clouds. Some were doubtful and skeptical about the whole thing, but for others, this held significant spiritual meaning. In another part of the United States back in 2016, a resident of South Carolina could not believe his eyes as he looked into the clouds. A heavenly cloud appeared out of nowhere in the sky on a clear day, going against the expectations of people for the weather that day. And this cloud was not just any cloud. It took the shape of an angel, the South Carolina man, feeling compelled to not just keep this story to himself, but to share it with people everywhere, told the story of his seeing something divine during the daytime. The cloud formed suddenly, standing separated from the other clouds, which only added to its mystery. Some people believed it to be a sign of divine powers, whilst others thought it to be the work of extraterrestrial beings. Amongst these different viewpoints, the mystery and intrigue of the clouds continue to plague people's minds, leaving open the possibility that it might not just be a cosmic coincidence. Texas, not wanting to feel left out of the divine or mystical experience, also had its encounter. On a day when the clouds were sprawled across the sky like a woman sprawled on the couch, a Texas man spotted an angelic figure in the heavens. Initially thought to be an odd pattern of the clouds' pattern, the figure soon revealed itself. The man, eager to capture this moment, zoomed in on this ethereal entity. To his surprise, the zoomed image showed a tangible figure standing on top of the clouds. Number 7. UFO Spotted Above Skinwalker Ranch did you know that one of the most uniquely mysterious places in the world is in Utah? Rumors of UFOs and extraterrestrial beings have been swirling around this area for years. 
But despite the stories, no hard evidence has ever been released to show what's going on there. The world may never know. But enough about the big U2 claw outside of Loveland Aquarium. Let's talk about Utah's second most mysterious site, Skinwalker Ranch. Located in the Winter Basin, this paranormal hotspot boasts claims of flying saucers, mysterious lights, unknown illnesses, shape-shifting monsters, and just about everything else you can think of. It's so well known that there have been several books written about the property, and it's even the subject of a History Channel show. The earliest known inhabitants of this land played a big part in its ominous name. The property lies on land traditionally inhabited by the Ute tribe, but the term skinwalker comes from Navajo legend and translates to using it, it goes on all fours. In Navajo culture, skinwalkers are evil witches with the ability to shapeshift into any animal or human. The skinwalker legend is not well understood outside of Navajo culture, but what little is known about it by outsiders is enough to inspire scary stories of all varieties. One such story involves the Ute tribe. The legend goes that during a time of hostility between the UTEs and Navajo, members of the Navajo decided to unleash skinwalkers upon their enemies, and those skinwalkers still stalk the land today. The inhabitants of Skinwalker Ranch may have reported slightly different stories over the years, but they have a few things in common that are hard to shake. Most notable is the strong conviction that what they're seeing is the real deal, and it's a conviction shared by many in the area. Since the 1950s, there have been hundreds of reports of UFOs and unexplained phenomena in the Winter Basin, and not just at Skinwalker. Neighbors of the ranch report seeing various types of bright lights in the sky, often appearing in a shape that looks like a doorway or portal. Others report giant flying objects. Cattle mutilations are common too. Some neighbors have reported seeing cows that appeared to have been struck by lightning with no sign of scorched earth to be found. One group shared a story of trying to spot UFOs one night, only to return to find that their car had been moved without a trace of tire tracks in the desert sand. Number 6. Ancient Wonders in the Sky In September 2015, something unusual happened in Boise, Idaho. This is a memory that has stuck with the people for a long time. Out of nowhere, a mysterious flying creature looking like an ancient pterosaur appeared in the sky. This creature was believed to have existed millions of years ago, and yet somehow, here it was, gliding above the city gracefully, with wings fully spread as if it was the guardian angel of the city. People could not believe their eyes, and their minds started to run wild with imagination. They guessed all sorts of things and came up with countless theories to support their claims. Some even said that the creatures never went extinct, but rather into a deep slumber that lasted for millions of years. Even though this was a strange sight, scientists could not get enough proof to confirm the existence of these creatures. However, the question of whether or not these creatures were still around remained a mystery. This sighting not only sparked the area of curiosity in people, but also led to lively debates about the mysteries of this natural world. The skies above Boise turned into a canvas for dreaming about bringing back ancient creatures. It made people wonder what the outcome would be if the past mixed with the present. Would it be magical? Would it be catastrophic? Can we coexist peacefully with these ancient creatures? These are the questions that plagued the minds of people after seeing this. In July 2013, in Grand Falls, Canada, the sky decided to also put on a show for people. A strong wind swept through the skies and the land, shaping the land into a gigantic face with eyes and a nose. It was a breathtaking sight, a wonderful painting across the face of the sky. This massive cloud creation looked like a giant photograph and captured the hearts of many who saw it. Videos of this quickly spread online, making people wonder about just how good nature's artwork is. People wondered who was behind it. Could it be a playful jester? Or is it just nature deciding to be a total show-off? Whichever way, it showed us that the sky can turn into a gallery of ever-changing art. But not all sky events are happy-go-lucky events. In New York, an event unfolded over the skyline, creating a sense of worry. In an unexpected turn of events, New Yorkers saw a shadowy scene during the sunset. It looked like dozens, 
perhaps even hundreds of mystical creatures hanging around the Empire State Building. The cityscape transformed into something out of a terrifying tale, hinting at disaster that could ease a lot of harm. Worried about the masses' safety, authorities decided to close down the Empire State Building earlier than usual. Thankfully, the dark predictions did not come, and the city was spared from the terrifying prophecy of the mysterious cloud. Number 5. The Angel on the Temple Mount Several videos showing a glowing light above the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem have sparked claims of a UFO above the city. Millions of people have viewed the clips, which show a bright circular object hovering above the two 500 year old shrine. The UFO suddenly appears in the dark sky, plunging into the buildings in front of stunned tourists. One can be heard crying out, Is that a UFO? It's amazing! The object then speeds straight back up into the sky and disappears in a flash, prompting more gasps. The YouTube video, dated January 28th, has fueled the UFO lobby who believe extraterrestrials exist and sparked an online debate about the prospect of life beyond Earth. One viewer wrote, Aliens are real. What's to say there is no other form of life in the millions of planets in the SAT galaxies? But many have greeted the clip with cynicism, insisting it is just a reflection or trick of the light. One jokes caustically, It's an angel, not a UFO former Ministry of Defense UFO investigator Nick Pope told Fox News. If these videos are real, they are some of the most incredible videos ever shot. If they are not, then this is a very well-planned and coordinated hoax designed to eliminate elements of doubt. The way it shoots up into the sky suggests it is unmanned because no living thing could survive those kinds of G-forces. We know the Israeli army has some very high-tech drones at its disposal. If this is one, it is one of the most advanced pieces of technology created by man. The Dome of the Rock is the most famous Islamic site in Jerusalem and the crowning glory of the Temple Mount. It can be seen from all over the city. The Muslim shrine is built from sacred stone. The foundation stone is laid on what is believed to be the spot where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during his night journey. It also has the oldest surviving mihrab, the niche giving the direction of Mecca in the world. The site is also where the ancient Temple of Solomon used to stand until it was destroyed by the Romans in 70 BC. In 1980, Jordan proposed that the old city be listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it was added to the list in 1981. In 1982, it was added to the list of world heritage in danger. On the 26th of October 2016, UNESCO passed the Occupied Palestine Resolution that condemned Israeli escalating aggression and illegal measures against the WAKF, called for the restoration of Muslim access, and demanded that Israel respect the historical status quo, and also criticized Israel for its continuous refusal to let the body's experts access Jerusalem's holy sites to determine their conservation status. While the text acknowledged the importance of the old city of Jerusalem and its walls for the three monotheistic religions, it referred to the sacred hilltop compound in Jerusalem's old city only by its Muslim name Al-Haram al-Sharif. In response, Israel denounced the UNESCO resolution for its omission of the words Temple Mount or Har Habayit, stating that it denied Jewish ties to the site. Israel froze all ties with UNESCO. In October 2017, Israel and the United States announced they would withdraw from UNESCO, citing anti-Israel bias. On the 6th of April 2022, UNESCO unanimously adopted a resolution reiterating all 21 previous resolutions concerned with Jerusalem. Number 4 heavenly horse humanoid creature. In December 2019, an extraordinary and otherworldly display unfolded in the sky, was captured by an anonymous source, and was uploaded on YouTube. The video showcased a figure resembling a horse, its ghostly figure soaring above the clouds. What baffled all viewers alike was the lack of visible wings on this horse-like silhouette. As the clouds parted, a second mysterious figure emerged, taking on a human shape formed by the billowing clouds. Speculations ran rampant. Was it a spectral horse roaming the heavens? 
Or perhaps it, this perplexing incident left people pondering about the potential second return of Christ as the humanoid figure defied all conventional explanations while hovering mysteriously above the skies. Speculations ran rampant. Was it a spectral horse roaming the heavens? Or perhaps it was an angelic being challenging normal human understanding? In a different part of the world, a couple that was visiting Mary Hill in Glasgow, Scotland, stumbled upon yet another unexplainable phenomenon. In the distance, they witnessed a flying humanoid, and they managed to get it on tape. Their initial thoughts were that this was a weather balloon, but this odd shape quickly dispelled that notion. Its size ruled out the possibility of it being a drone, prompting thoughts of a UFO. However, as the object approached, the couple used a binocular and were surprised to see that this was a humanoid form with a head, arms, and leg. This perplexing incident left people pondering about the potential second return of Christ, as the humanoid figure defied all conventional explanations while hovering mysteriously above the skies. On the shores of Chile as well, beachgoers were surprised by the presence of enormous and identified creatures roaming just above the seawater. This colossal creature sparked beliefs that it could also be the second coming of Christ. Weather experts, however, had another explanation for this phenomenon. They suggested that it was a water spout that transformed into a tornado, but that it didn't touch down on land. Nevertheless, dissenting opinions persisted, with some continuing to insist that it was a prophetic figure, hinting at the sign of an upcoming disaster. Number 3. Japan's Unidentified High-Flying Anomaly In August 2018, an anomaly took place in the skies of Kumamoto, Japan. An unidentified white balloon-like object was spotted by residents in northeastern Japan on Wednesday, with some people directing inquiries to police and other local authorities, while others took to Twitter to voice their excitement. An official from the Japan Meteorological Agency's Sendai office in Miyagi Prefecture confirmed it was not an item flown by the agency, saying, We checked with the Sendai municipal government and the self-defense forces, but they have no idea either. According to the agency, calls about a mysterious floating object began arriving around 7 a.m. It was observed in Sendai and Fukushima Prefecture, and a cross-shaped item, described by an agency official as resembling some type of observational equipment, could be seen hanging from the sphere. The Miyagi Prefectural Police also flew a helicopter to check on the object traveling at more than 2,000 meters above the ground, but have yet to determine its origin and identity. We just have to keep our eyes on where it's going, a police official said. The police lost the exact location of the object in the evening after clouds blocked them from tracking it. The Transport Ministry's office at Sendai Airport said there had been no requests for flying an aerial vehicle as per aviation law. As it is not on any flight paths, it will not impact aircraft operations, but we will continue to keep an eye on it, an official at the office said. On Twitter, one user asked, could it be a UFO? While another said, it looks like a hot air balloon. Fukushima. The central government remains tight-lipped about photos and videos of possible flying saucers in Japan that were authenticated by an authority on the subject. We are aware of the findings, but we decline to comment, Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihiko Isozaki said at a news conference on June 27th. The two photos and two video clips of mysterious objects floating in the sky in Japan were uploaded to the website of the International UFO Lab based in Fukushima two days earlier. The images have raised speculation that alien beings have visited Japan, but the same images have also brought out skeptics, many of whom say that one of the unidentified flying objects is probably just an out-of-focus butterfly. The International UFO Lab was set up inside the UFO Furyakin Museum in Fukushima City's Ainomachi District in June 2021. The center, whose purpose is to promote the community, collects, analyzes, and publishes information on UFO sightings around the world. The lab judges the authenticity of UFO sightings based on its standards. It reviews the clarity of the images and footage, and whether the mystery objects can be explained by science or natural phenomena. It has received 452 reported sightings from around Japan and abroad in the past year. 
The lab confirmed that in 149 of the cases, the images or videos were not altered. It determined an extremely high probability that the two photos and two video clips uploaded on the website showed UFOs. One of the photos was taken in the vicinity of the lab by an elementary school first grader in August 2021. The photo shows a fuzzy, disc-shaped object at Sengen Mori, a cone-shaped mountain. Several UFO sightings had previously been reported in the area. Some viewers of the photo said online that the object could be a swallowtail butterfly. It certainly looks like the shape of a great Mormon. Butterfly turned upside down, said Karen Shigamura, an employee in charge of butterflies at the Adachi Park of Living Things in Tokyo. The large butterfly, a member of the swallowtail family, has a wingspan of about 12 centimeters, and the male has black wings. It mainly inhabits southern Japan, including Okinawa Prefecture and the Kyushu region, but its range has expanded north in recent years, and some have been found in Fukushima Prefecture, Shigamura said. However, she effectively ruled out a butterfly as the black object seen in the second photo, which was taken in September 2018. The picture was shot on a mountain at an altitude of about 2,450 meters in Tatiyama, Toyama Prefecture. I can't think of any butterfly this big that lives in a high mountain area like this, Shigamura said. Takaharu Mikami, editor-in-chief of the monthly occult magazine Mu, who also serves as director of the lab, said at a June 25th news conference that the objects in the photos and clips were not ghosts caused by light reflecting inside the lens of the camera. He also said that there were no flashing lights of airplanes or helicopters in these images, emphasizing their authenticity. In September 2020, Taro Kono, then defense minister, ordered the self-defense forces to report, record, and take other necessary steps if they encounter unidentifiable aerial objects that could affect Japan's defense and security. Isozaki said at the news conference on June 27 that there have been no peculiar cases that need to be disclosed. Regarding unidentifiable aerial objects, we will continue to respond accordingly, he said. Raiichi ASO, a member of a residence group founded to promote the Inomachi district as a hub for UFOs, said that they were pleased that the lab's findings have attracted attention, and that they hope they can receive more sightings that are more authentic and enliven the community. Number 2. Unusual Sky Events Something unusual happened in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It was so surprising that people could not believe their eyes. In June 2015, shocked tourists saw two human-like figures flying gracefully through the sky. These mysterious beings disappear after a short while. Now, considering the positive signs and miracles people have talked about before, people started to wonder if truly these were some kind of divine intervention. This surprising event points to a series of heavenly occurrences that seemed like random events. Not far away in Mongolia, there was another strange sighting that got people talking. Witnesses saw a strange creature flying in the sky. It looked like a mix of a snake, a Chinese dragon, and a crocodile. It got locals talking, thinking it was some local Chinese dragon from mythology. Others believed that it could be an ancient creature like a flying dinosaur, like the ones that flew above the earth millions of years ago. The mix of ancient stories and prehistoric creatures made this mysterious sightings even more terrifying, making people wonder exactly what it was that they saw. Meanwhile, in busy Shanghai, something out of the ordinary happened to a couple during their normal day. While taking selfies, they suddenly saw flying aliens. Without wasting any time, they quickly went outside and took pictures of the strange creature. It had a twisted tail unusually, and looked a lot like those made-up creatures from the video game StarCraft. The Zergs are known for producing quickly, using swarm tactics, and adapting genetically, making them formidable opponents in science fiction. This unexpected encounter just blurred the line between real life and fiction, making people curious about the idea of insect-like aliens showing up unexpectedly in cities. These weird sightings, from celestial beings in Brazil to mythical creatures in Mongolia, add to the ever-growing collection of unexplained events. Number 1. UFOs or Government Secrets In the mysterious Florida night sky, something extraordinary happened that surprised residents at first. 
At first, people thought it to be a flame, a meteorite, or maybe even the glowing trail of a UFO. On November 11, 1987, Ed Walters, a contractor in Gulf Breeze, Florida, was allegedly immobilized briefly by a blue beam, after which he took five Polaroids of an object in the sky outside his home. W. Alters reported seeing the object hover about 200 feet above the ground, describing it as being right out of a Spielberg movie. He claimed to have made multiple subsequent visits to the UFO, recording videotape and taking 32 photographs of the object. Walters further reported witnessing the craft land on Soundside Drive and deposit five aliens on the road. He stated that one of the aliens stared into his window, at which point the aliens communicated with him in English and Spanish via telepathy and presented him with a book showing pictures of dogs. A blue beam of light then caused him to be lifted three feet off the ground. Walters stated that the immobilization in the blue beam happened again on December 2, 1987. On February 7, 1988, Walters allegedly photographed his wife attempting to outrun the blue beam. Walters also claimed to have communicated further with the aliens. He or his family reported 19 sightings or encounters over time. On May 1, 1988, Walters reported feeling the alien presence while he was at Shoreline Park after midnight, saw the UFO and took a photo of it, then lost consciousness for an hour. Walters stated that the UFO leaked some kind of liquid that continued to boil even 19 days after he captured it. After the Sentinel published Walters' photographs, both the paper and the mutual UFO network, MUFON, received dozens of reports of sightings in the Gulf Breeze area. Various reports described an orange glow, orange or blue beams of light, and an oval or oblong craft. One woman reported being awakened at 2 a.m. to find an orange-lit UFO in her yard. In July 1988, Fenner McConnell and his wife Shirley claimed to have seen a disc-shaped airplane with no wings flying over water, with landing lights shining on their pier. Shirley later recognized the alleged craft from the Sentinel articles. Brenda Pollock, a Gulf Breeze councilwoman and acquaintance of Walters, reported seeing an orange light along the treetops while driving across the Pensacola Bay Bridge on March 17, 1988. When she got home to tell her husband Buddy, she learned he had been at Shoreline Park where he and others were looking at Walter's photographs. When the group left to get hot chocolate, leaving Walter's alone at the park, they saw flashes of light and rushed back to find that he had taken Polaroids of a UFO. Brenda denied that Walters was the sort of man who would perpetuate a hoax. She reported another sighting on January 8, 1990. Another local dignitary, Santa Rosa County Commissioner John Broxson, claimed that he and several acquaintances saw something bright hovering above his home. A parade of lights of different colors and intensity. Art and Mary Hufford claimed to have seen something gray, oval, and silent fly over the treetops that stayed in view for several minutes when they were driving in early November 1987, recognizing the object in Walter's photographs. Jeff Thompson reported that he and his 12-year-old son watched a three-foot-wide and two-foot-high craft for about 10 minutes outside his Tiger Point residence on February 8, 1989. He approached the craft with a flashlight, and when he was within 30 feet, the top of the craft turned white and made a crackling noise and then just dissipated. Thompson also stated that he watched a UFO being chased by two military jets on the same day as Walter's alleged UFO encounter. A toll booth operator, Jerry Thompson, no relation, said that he and a group of people watched 13 pink lighted objects blink in a pattern that he could not identify. Residents reported seeing eight helicopters chasing a UFO on January 8, 1990, something the United States Navy denied. Supporters of Walters, particularly members of MUFON, cited the mass sightings as proof that the Gulf Breeze phenomena were genuine. Walter Andrus, MUFON's director, stated in June 1988 that the Gulf Breeze incident was the best case we've ever had. Donald Ware, the group's Florida director, stated, that he was convinced the reason one man was given so many photographic opportunities is because the aliens wanted us to see those photos. Statistics compiled by Willie Smith stated that MUFON's membership increased fourfold since after the Gulf Breeze case was publicized. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another of our interesting